Hello everyone. Today I'm going to take you through an example of how to use hybrid tables and how they can benefit you. Now hybrid tables are essentially an extension of incremental refresh. Um, if you haven't checked out our video on incremental refresh, uh, please go back to our YouTube channel and check that out at a later, later point in time. Um, just to give you a brief understanding of how hybrid tables work, it's essentially combining an import model data set with a direct query data set in one table. So this, this is a, just a visual represent, representation of what's actually happening. You can see we've got multiple partitions set up with using our incremental refresh, and this is done by year. Um, and you've got these all set up in import mode. So the first time it went through and did this refresh, it had an import model of you know, about 10 years worth of data. We also set up incremental refresh, um, which is also an import model. And that happens, you know, it looks like daily. Um, there's a new extension that we can add um, that will combine real-time direct query data to your data set. So that can be really useful because, you know, you're combining both import and direct query. So you're basically combining, you know, really good performance with your import model. And you're, you're combining on real-time data, you know, kind of towards the more recent end of your data set. Um, so you're, you're always getting, you know, your latest updates from your data warehouse. Um, you're getting, uh, you're, you know, you're using your normal incremental refresh, but you're getting more up-to-date data. So I'll give you, you know, a quick example of how to actually set this up. Okay. So in our PBIX file, we've got a couple of data, uh, a couple of tables added here. We've got DIM product and fact internet sales. Uh, let's go over to the data modeling tab. You can see these are uh, related on a couple of fields right now. Uh, uh, to first set this up, we need the fact table to be set to import mode. And we need the uh, dimension table. If you go to advanced, you can see it's set up right now in direct query. We need to change that to dual. And it's going to give you a little, uh, little notation here. The reason we need to set that to dual is we need the dimension table to be able, you know, be able to interact with both the import and the direct query side of your fact table. By setting it to dual, it now works, you know, performs well with both sides of this. So we're set to go there. Let's go back to the front end and right click on fact internet sales and go down to incremental refresh. Now we've already set up in Power Query the range start and range end. And again, if you wanted to, you know, see how that's set up, please refer to our previous video on incremental refresh. If we go ahead and click on incremental refresh, a few things to see here. So we can see we're incrementally, re incrementally refreshing this table. We're archiving data starting one year before the refresh date. And then we're incrementally starting to refresh the data 10 days before the refresh date. So anything from March 20, today is March 21st, 2022. Anything from March 21st, 2021 through March 10th, 2022 is just the one time, you know, full load. And then anything between March 11th and March 21st, past 10 days is gonna be incremental refresh. Um, then this new feature is a new optional setting. You can see it says, get the latest data in real time with direct query. Before I check that, I wanna show you this, uh, this little graphic down here below. So you can see you've got archived and incremental refresh. Anything under archived is going to be, you know, archived when you do your full reload that happens once each time you do your, you know, you republish your model. So that's going to be one year of data. And then we're incrementally refreshing 10 days before the refresh date. Once I click on that, you can see this new, you know, uh, checkered box here that, that says real time. So this is going to be real time data. And this is data that appears, you know, after your last incremental refresh, but before your next one. So it's really showing you up-to-date real-time information. Um, it's, it's very valuable, like I said, because you get that, that up-to-date re, uh, real-time information. And, uh, you know, it's, it's basically combining these two different partitions. It's, it's, a, it's a great example of how you can um, combine both direct query and import models and, you know, give your users flexibility with using um, real-time data while also having, you know, great performance using your cache data from your import model. Um, so this is a little primer on how to use hybrid tables. So uh, thanks everyone for listening.